Marvi? Path valued at over $30 billion, solar photovoltaic arrays will cover over 12,000 hectares in the Northern Territory's Barkley region in Australia, gathering and converting solar energy into 20 gigawatts of power. While the capital city Darwin will use an estimated 800 megawatts of generated power for electricity supply, leftover energy will be transmitted to Singapore, covering 15% of the country's electricity demand. To do this, a subsea system with three 4,200 kilometer subsea cables, which will transmit the energy, will be built from Gunpoint Beach and will run through Indonesia to Singapore's converter station. Additionally, the use of sustainable energy throughout Darwin, the Northern Territory's overall contribution to greenhouse gases will be reduced by 10 percent. Meanwhile, Sun Cable is expecting to begin construction in 2024 and has garnered $210 million worth of fundings from shareholders, Rock Ventures and Squadron Energy. Kath? Marvi, would this project have any possible impacts on natural habitats in Northern Territory and its species? Kath, concerns regarding the impacts on species in the area were taken into consideration by Sun Cable. They are consistently gathering information regarding potentially impacted species and are working to protect the environment and values held by the indigenous community. Back to you, Kath. Thank you, Marvi Dilfin, for that report live from Australia.